Look, Nella D, the girl with the 411. Hey, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Yeah, you already know what it is. My girl, Nella D, always got the 411. Baby, 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 what up, though? It's Young Step. You know my home, girl, my little sis, Nella D, stay with the 411. Let's go. Hey, Nella D, the only one in the 513 with the 411. Anytime I want to know what's going on, I just call my girl, Nella D, to get the 411. What up? It's King Kells on 101.1 The Wiz, the Urban Informer, and you're checking my girl Nella D, the girl the 411. I'm in the 411 with Nella D. I'll let you, girl. Let's go. 80880, what's up? It's the 411 Uncut Podcast with Nella D, and this is brought to you by Timeless Recording Studios that you can book right now at timelessrecordingstudios.com, and it's also brought to you by KJ Stopping Shop, 1725 West Goblins Road. You need J's, you need foams, Savage Life outfits, get you right for the weekend make sure you stop by hit up my homies they got you for show now today on 411 uncut i have a very special guest somebody who i look at like a little bra bra uh, for real for real <laughs> somebody that's like family prince bop what's up what's going on man what's going on man what's going on now look you done made it to the big leagues because this show first 411 uncut interview by yourself you feel me for sure you'd have been in here with the squad before yeah. but you ain't never walked in here by yourself and it's all been on prince bop yeah man you know how that goes <laughs> so you ready yeah for sure <laughs> for sure now i'm so happy uh the crime king mixtape is doing so good right now you just put it out in november you got singles off of there, special somebody to call me you got a video to here i am so what's the feedback been like for you off the mixtape Oh, yeah, that shit, that shit. It's most definitely going crazy, you know. It's doing its thing for me. I got a whole lot of calls, you feel me? A whole <laughs> lot of numbers, too. Yeah. So I appreciate it, especially for the fans. You know, I appreciate it. I love it. Yeah, you be getting booked up a lot, Bob. Like, and I, I know it's real because some artists, you know, they get all these views, but they don't ever get booked. So you kind of be like, well, is these views real? You know what yeah. I'm saying? But yeah. I'm seeing, like, every flyer I'm seeing online, it got your name on it. So, like, where can we see you performing upcoming? Um, I just, I just, um, crushed on a date and, like, I think, like, last week. But I got signed in Middletown and in Springfield, like, in two weeks. Okay. Like, in two weeks. And I got, um, the All-Star game in the night. Mm-hmm. At the All-Star game. And that's gonna be dope. That's gonna be dope. And I got, like, two other shows to do tomorrow. Look, kids, party. You running it up, Bob. Dang, little bro. I'm going to start coming to you like, let me hold a little dollar aside. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you got Jacquees in yeah, April yeah, yeah, that yeah, you're yeah, doing. So. Jacquees in April. And me and Butter. Me and Butter got some shit in April, too. Uh-huh. Now, I know, speaking of Butter, like, we had, it's been so much going on in, like, the, you know, Cincinnati gossip lane. This was, like, maybe, like, a, a month or two back. And it was something going on where on your Instagram... You took off about billions as your record label. So everybody was kind of looking like, well, why would he take it off? Then we know this butter took it off. So it's like, well, if both of them, like, is Bob leaving about billions? What's going on? So are you still about billions? Yeah, I'm still about billions. For sure, for sure. Was it a reason behind you doing that, though? Was it something going on? Or was you just kind of like... Nah, it wasn't even really... It wasn't even really nothing going on, for real, for real. You feel me? Just... Big bro, big bro was this, you feel me? How they get on track with this shit. So it was just a few things that misled and made a motherfucker feel like it was, you feel me, it was slow at the moment, you feel me? Right. So I was just kind of wait on nobody, you know how that go. Right. So was it kind of, you know, making a statement like, look, I'll get it on my own in a way, like. Yeah, for sure. That's regardless, you feel me, with, with anybody or by myself. You feel right. Me? I have to get it myself. Ain't nobody gonna push you how you push yourself. You know how that go. For sure, for sure. Now, I know you, um, I've been seeing you out. Like, you've been in the clubs, and I'm like, dang, Bob don't ever for real be in the clubs. But I done seen you in the clubs lately. I done seen you crazy. at Cameo a few times. I done seen you at Annie's a few times. So I'm like, okay, Bob coming out now and I'm seeing you with the guys you've been running with forever. Uh, yeah. The Scudder Bros. I'm seeing y'all all together and it, I'll be like, dang, look at my little bros. Like, yeah. all grown now in the club with me. I remember y'all couldn't even get in. <laughs> like, so what's your yeah. relationship like still with the bros? Oh yeah, everything 100. Everything been 100 all way, you feel me? Everybody home, everybody touching down, everybody at their love. But at one point, you know, we all... We all still kick it, call right. each other every day, you feel me? You know how that go. And I'm sure, like, they some of, like, your biggest supporters for your yeah, career, for sure. too. 
For sure, I'm doing my little one shit. I was about to try to run off with some little shit. Kyle, uh, I was running a bandit gang for a minute. Go start running with my own little shit. I mean, but... Bandit gang. Yeah. That's so what? What? what is, what is bandit gang? Like, to elaborate on it. Feel me? You know, banding my head. Well, it was my head right now that I'm pushing. So right. Got a whole whole bunch of supporters with me from day one. Mm-hmm. My guys, you know, they go, you know, they rapping and shit too. But we can't even do Bandit Gang no more, though. Now we got to do a new name, so we go find a new name. Why? Wow, somebody already got it or something? Yeah, y'all, I think Bandit Gang Marco. Oh, okay. So y'all trying to just stay clear that yeah, fast yeah. something else, but you kind of creating your own promo team in a way, so, or your own, like, squad. You know, you got your guys that rap with you, and you help push them type of thing yeah. to really trying to make boss moves, I guess you could say. Yeah, for sure. That's how I'm trying to do. All right. Now, I've also been noticing on social media that you got a little girlfriend now. So what's that like trying to... Cause the, the girls love you, for yeah. sure, for sure. Like, you doing all these birthday parties, little girls freaking out, and they, like, crying over you. They, like, really, like, love you. So how's the, your girl dealing with all this, like, knowing, like, her dude is, like, the most wanted young guy in Cincinnati <laughs> right now? She arguing with me every day. <laughs> <laughs> How she arguing with you every day? I really every day, but you feel me? You know how that go, man. I, I got to... I gotta just stay cool on my end. So, but you, how is it hard sometimes to balance that? Like you got all these girls right here, then you got your girl at home. Is it how, how you balance it out, Bob? Because I know the pressure be on you though. Yeah, it be slow. It be it be, it be crazy. It be having me like. <laughs> it be slow. It be crazy. I don't even know. You feel me? I just be chilling. You just be chilling. Yeah. Well, I gonna get you in trouble. I ain't gonna make you. Cause she gonna watch this. Like, yeah, it better be slow for him. <laughs> she ain't gonna go off on me. You feel me? <laughs> now, re- recently, uh, we had seen on social media that Butter had decided to put up that he was a free agent. That he had no longer dealing with about billions, I guess, on that type of, you know, business level. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure y'all be cool always on the personal level. Um, how did you feel about that? Like, how did that impact you? Shit, I'm like, I'm not seeing that shit. It didn't really surprise me for real, you feel me? It wasn't really like, oh, shit, bro, for years and now you ain't fucking with it. Like, like what you said, what you said, you feel me? Like, that's his craft. I'm, I'm really focusing on my shit. I'm waiting 100%. What would he do, though? Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, y'all still got a performance together, even though it's not, like, you know, about billions thing, but that's still somebody that I'm pretty sure you looked up to for real, for real. Yeah. So was it like, you like, no matter what, this still going to be my big bro type of thing, no matter who he with? Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still go, you feel me, kick the ball how we kick it. And that's butter, man. I'm Bob, you feel me? We still go, we still go, still go rock a big bro, for sure. Whatever sure, move you sure. make. That's what's up. Now you got to. Now, being with About Billions, you know, your first full year, like, what was it like? You know, I'm pretty sure you got to experience so much stuff. You know, being a, being a young guy from Winton Terrace and not being able to experience these things before, like, what was it like? Like, being able to just go out of town a lot, um, being in certain places that you ain't used to being and spending some type of money that you ain't used to spending before. Like, was it, like, really, like, extravagant, I guess you could say? Yeah, it was most definitely turned up. That's for sure, for sure. For me, the first year, we was acting crazy, and we had the mixtape, for me, about time. Mm-hmm. That, that, that opened it all the way up for us, so we damn near could have did what we wanted whenever we wanted, you feel me? So. Right. And, but, yeah, and then out the city and shit, though, that shit was live action, though. We most definitely put on every time we link up. Mm-hmm. Every time you get all us in that certain little, you feel me, environment with each other, we get the popping off, we know we go. It's going to be turned. It's going to be a movie. Right. So what's your relationship like with uh, Day One and Big Vern and KID? Like, is these, like, guys and that you really, like, rock with the long way, too? Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Not even with just all the way in the music side. Just on the, you feel me? The knowing each other shit, though. Mm-hmm. My guys, I love them. Day Day, Day One, Quad, Vern. Mm-hmm. But, you know, my guys. Now, I always felt like you and Day One should have definitely put out a project together because mm-hmm. I felt like y'all had the song Priceless that was super dope, and that's really all the market got from y'all, though. But that was a hit. So I was like, damn, is Prince Bop and Day One going to link up and really kill some stuff? Because y'all could have. Why didn't y'all never do that? 
Uh, we got we got crazy man, me and bro got crazy shit, and we finna get back to working on it though. We got we got hella shit though. We got, like a lot of songs, mm -hmm. fire too. I like fire. That's how we do. Me and him link up though. You feel me? We it's gonna be there. some hot stuff. We be motivating shit out each other, so that shit just be it be top notch shit. But yeah, I don't know why we ain't never dropped on uh table. We would. I told you it was gonna be called um the tales of two princes. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was gonna be like. Whenever we finally do, feel me, get a date on it. But mm -hmm. our shit already. It's already done. Y'all got like so many songs that y'all could... Yeah. Yeah, we could have had way more, but we just both know how that go. Yeah, and you like, was focusing like on 40, 50 stuff. songs together, though, right now. Wow. I already dropped. Done. Well, y'all need to put it on the internet and uh, put together a project yeah. and let us get it. Because I'm like, man, I was so, like... It was a point in time in between, you know, the About Time uh, mixtape and, you know, when you dropped, it was kind of like, dang, like, we were waiting for, you know, some more music. Like, did you feel like that? Like, were you so ready to drop, like, after About Time and that space in between where you like, damn, like, I really want to drop again. Like, I want to put some more music out because we only had, you know, Bandit at the time. Yeah, so. and I knew they was going to go crazy. Like, I'm like, I already seen how they reacted off a of band. So I'm like, we got to drop. We got to drop, like, ASAP. It took some time, but I'm glad that shit's just out now, though. Right. Now, did you think Bandit was going to take off the way it did, though? Like, when you recorded that song, did you know that that was going to be, like, a number one hit for real in this market? I really did, though. I, did. I mean, I did. <laughs> but I did. I'm thinking, because I dropped that shit, like, sad, like. I was just in the studio one night dropping like I think like four like three four songs like that was like my third second or third song I just ran through it like like two three tries you feel me right I rapped the whole song in like one one vocal I ain't even stopped like do the hook then verse I just as soon as the beat came on I sung the whole verse hung the whole song uh huh then it stopped like did that like twice it was just that then once my fuck heard it I'm like oh yeah they fucking with it. Right. They fuck it with it. Fuck and that was really your first single as a, a solo artist. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, didn't know. I, I didn't even know that a lot of people didn't know that you came from the Scudder Bros. Like, yeah. a lot of people, they didn't know. They like, oh, he was with the Dig It Up guys? Like, yeah, yeah like, he come from the Dig It Up stuff. Like, dang. this is the same guy that was in that group. So, was it like, dang, like, to know that you, you popped off? A lot of artists can't do that. They go from a group, then they try to go solo. It don't really work all the time. Like, so how did it feel to know, like, damn, they still rocking with the kid, like, on my own stuff? Like, did they give you an extra push? Yeah, for sure did. It put a lot of weight on me, for sure. <laughs> yeah, everybody was saying that shit, like, boy, we don't know what it's going to be, boy. Half motherfuckers were saying that, but half motherfuckers like, yeah, you feel me? Like, because we, when we all got together, you feel me? That was like, you feel me? This shit was more, it was fun and shit, you feel me? Yeah. It was more fun and, like, now it's serious. Right now, it's, it's, it's business. Then it's like that's why I'm glad I'm at this step because it just showed me how to get on the business side. But mm -hmm. it was fun with the guys though. But I had to, you know, I had to match the gas though. Yeah, do sometimes you miss it though, like having them to your right or to your left when you on the stage and performing. Now you, you know, what I'm saying at first you was at Bogarts opening up for Migos and stuff like that, and, and Ray Shrimmer and them with your guys next to you. Yeah. Now you on big platforms. On your own. So Dude, do sometimes you look to your left and right and be like, dang, like a few motherfuckers told me like when you first when you first 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 popped off a of brother and them and you was performing outside, they were like you was like you shitty, bro. Like you ain't got it. Like <laughs> They told you it was shitty? Yeah, cause you feel me, I always used to have three other my three other bros right there with it though. Like they told me like, nah, bro, you gotta You gotta amp it up. But as in like now, I crush them though now. Like, you know, you gotta get used to it. Yeah. That's how it was. I started hitting the stage by myself, but I'm like Damn, I gotta do three songs by myself. Like, ain't no breaks. No breaks. Like, no, <laughs> no chill out. Let bro go ahead, kill it. Like, you feel me? Like, it's the whole, whole, you know what I'm saying? Me going on. So I be, yeah. Right. Yeah, I got better at it, though. Yeah. Now, when I had first, like, when I had first met you, you were with the Scudder Bros. And, um, you, uh, Pop Scudder was actually, like, managing y'all and, uh, trying to help y'all get to where y'all had to go. But Pop Scudder had got locked up. So, do you still, I noticed you had him on your mixtape. So, yeah. is it like for you now knowing that it's like dang, like you wish he was out and around and like see how far you done really came? Yeah, I always tell about Scudder, boy. I'm like, every time I just talked about Scudder like three, four days ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, he just got out. I didn't really get to holler him. Holler him was only for like 30 seconds, real quick. But, um, yeah, he, um, if he was here, most definitely, man. I know he'd have been the most definitely proud of me, though. Most definitely. That's why every time I talk to him, 
what he got six years. I tell him like, by the time it's time over, way he come out, I should be right. You feel me? Right, you should be right. Yeah, I should be good. And do you you feel like, like he kind of like introduced you into all of this? So do you always feel like you kind of owe him in yeah. a way? You know what I'm saying? Like you always gotta like have him around because he kind of introduced you to this lifestyle. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I got to always keep Pop Scott on my side. He a good nigga, man. He great, great guy, I swear. Mm -hmm. One that six years, you feel me? It ain't, it ain't really for us, but damn, you know how they go. It's for us, for real, so. Right. Uh, only. Mm-hmm. For sure, because y'all was like, I mean, even though uh, one of the Scudder bros is his son, but he looked at all of y'all like yeah. his kids, for real. Like, I seen the interactions, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, online. I'm talking about, he'd be about to be in the middle of a shootout, boy. He'd be right there in the middle of his guns on Thursday, like... <laughs> So right. Pop Scott ain't want nothing to happen to us, man. He wanted us to keep us one thousand. Wow. Just mm -hmm. for this stuff, for the music shit. Right, for sure. Now, I want to talk about something that I had heard that happened. Um, it was an issue within About Billions where your, your project came out, and next thing you found out that it was on JPEG. Now, yeah. JPay is where you feel me. People who locked up can get yeah. music, and you can send them money and pictures and stuff like that. So you didn't put it on there. So you end up finding out that it was actually one of the people in your camp that put it up, and that they was you know being able to receive money from it and things like that. So when that happened, was you like, hold on, what the hell going on? Like, yeah, I was sorry for a little second. I was sorry. I mean, it was just hit me like just some shit that was happening. Don't want anything feel me supposed to happen. That's how it was. Like that was crazy. You seem like you just got started again when you just thought about it. Like nah, it was just some shit that wasn't even really supposed to happen for real. You feel me? Like, but is it it's squashed now and everything? Yeah, everything good. Though. Everything cool. Everything cool now? Yeah, everything cool. I just... It's just some different shit. Do you kind of do you kind of feel like shit. you being an artist and you being the one that's kind of like, you know, it, the one in the city for real who, who who really, like, on top and really becoming that one that's the problem, the one that's really, like, getting to it that certain people start trying to, like, come for you in a way? Do you ever feel like that? Sometimes. Sometimes. I really don't, though, for real. No, okay. Because a lot of motherfuckers fuck with me, for real. I ain't really had no type of... But when I feel like when it do with something, do it happen, you feel me? That's why I just really stay by myself and stay with my own shit. Because when shit, that's how... Doing a whole lot of shit with a whole lot of people, that's what bring a whole lot of problems, you feel me? Mm-hmm. It bring a whole lot of problems, shit. So if it's my problem, I know it came from me, and I'm a good nigga. So if a motherfucker got a problem with me, I know what they feel me. Right. So you just kind of stay on your own with your own team and stuff like That's that. That's why I don't really be trying to do too much shit. Unless I really, really, really already feel me? Know your vibe and all that. Mm-hmm. For sure. Now, where do you think we going to see Bop in, like, the next five years? Like, what's your goal? Like, where do you see yourself? Like, yeah, five years, like, I know for sure this is what's going to be happening. Five years for sure? I already know what it's going to be. I know I'm going to be touring somewhere. <laughs> I already know. Right. Living luxury, you feel me? Hopefully. Hopefully. You got to claim it. Don't say hopefully. Don't be hopefully. Nah, you know for sure. Nah, I know for sure. I know it's going to. I know it's going to. You feel me? I know my time will come. I know what I'm going to do with it. Right. You feel me? That's why I am just. Now, the Crown Me King mixtape is out. You still pushing that. I know you working on something else, though. I know it got to be some new music that's going to come out soon or yeah, something yeah. you working on. Like, you got to give me a little exclusive on something. I got um, I got some shit called Planet Royal I'm about to drop. Planet Royal? Yeah, Planet Royal. Okay, so what's that going to be about? You feel me? It's just going to really, really be about just a whole new, whole new, like, whole different shit in there. You feel me? Like, club songs. Okay. Still R.I.B. shit. You feel me? Like... Trap shit, shit I used to be on, you feel me? Like, with the Scudder Bros. Yeah, with the bros. That body like, bag shit. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? That one shit, bring all that back, go yeah. ahead, put it all up, plan it, roll you, then I'm gonna drop that probably around the same time I'll drop the 
Crammy King probably not over in November, probably around August or something. Yeah, so you're going to let the Crammy King do what it's supposed to do, though. Yeah, let it do what it's supposed to do. Uh-huh. I ain't going to really rush another one just yet. But I think for that being your first, like, solo yeah. project on your own, it was good. Thanks. Like, for I sure. think, like, I rolled around to it, for sure, yeah. for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And me seeing, like, people start, like I said, quoting songs on they, on they social media. People listen to it on they Snapchat and on they live and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I think it was really dope. Like, and I was, I salute you for that. Like, it ain't, sure. it ain't easy to get in there on your own, produce a, a whole project on your own. And you did it. Yeah. Just gotta keep going. Yeah, I gotta just keep going, but you gotta put your heart to it. That's how I like be. I be coming off my shit with the heart, from, from the heart. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Well, Bob, I appreciate you for coming through today. Talking you know. to Sus, you feel me? We gotta yeah. make sure we kick it. We gonna go to this, I guess this uh, All Star game tonight. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna, gonna watch go you perform. Lit real quick. Turn up a little bit. So let them know where they can get the Crown King mixtape at right now. You already know you can get the um, Crummy King mixtape at um, Spinrilla, Spotify, um, iTunes, YouTube, Fit me a SoundCloud. The SoundCloud. Yeah. All right, and where can they follow you with on your, like, your Instagram, your Twitter, your Snapchat? Because, you know, they want to, the yeah. girls want to get in yeah, contact stay, with you. You got to. Yeah, for sure. You got to um, follow me on Facebook at Prince Bop, Instagram, Prince Bop, Twitter, Prince Bop with two Ps. Um, Snapchat, Prince Bop. Everything Prince Bop, though. Everything Prince Bop, for sure. Yeah. Well, you know, sis always gonna wish you the best. Um, I hope that everything you want, you get. Yeah. I wish that you just keep putting in all the work you can put in. Like, yeah. keep going, reaching for the stars. Don't let nothing hold you back, bro. Like, nothing. Like, oh, yeah, nobody, yeah. nothing hold you back. Keep going. And you got my support all day, every day, baby. So, make you know, sure... You follow us, too, on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, at 411 Uncut, so you can see who going to be up next. You feel me? We're going to keep interviewing people in the city that's doing good stuff, people that's turning up for show. And make sure you check out the new segment, 411 in the city. We're going to be going around to all the businesses, interviewing people, like really putting on. And make sure you hit me up, too, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, at Nella underscore D513. So until next time, baby, it's 411 Uncut.